before I get started, let me explain why I mean forgotten cartoons. I only gotta focus on cartoons that only last one, two seasons, maybe three, because those type of shows, they easily got forgotten, and nobody really talks about it for some reason. Even they're very good or very bad, they should always be talked about to get more inspiration, like, okay, how they did it, I can do better, or I can do this. You get the idea. Of course, I've tried to avoid not to review very popular cartoons or are sort of forgotten, but they're really not forgotten. They're well remembered. For example, Shaolin Showdown. That's the kind of cartoon I probably will not talk about this type of excitement because everybody knows that type of show. It does exist. People know in and appreciate them. I want to talk about the shows that never got the chance of get appreciated. Those are the shows I feel very fascinating because they sort of ask a sort of question why they forgotten it because they didn't get it promoted correctly or they didn't want it anymore. You have a bunch of ideas you can work with. But besides that, I have maybe two rules. One, the show had to last two seasons or maybe three. Two, if the show is popular, I can review it if one's popular is a different country, not inside the United States. Those I can review, I'm okay with only for this type of segments. But besides that, let's get started. My name is Retro. I used to review cartoon series, anime series, or something completely random. And today we'll talk about Golden the Sessional. That's a type of cartoon you probably never heard of, or you may hinted at some reviewers do mention that but never really go in deep dive because Golden Sensational fall into the trying to rip off Adult Swim by Fox. Yeah, Fox attempting to make a sort of Adult Swim their own version of them because how popular the program is in Cartoon Network. But the only difference is they wanted to put it in its own segment. Now, some of you can stop right now and say, wait a minute, they do have their own segment. They call animation domination, especially all the Family Guy, uh, American Dad, The Simpsons, the search some old adult cartoon. Why they didn't put it there, then decide to make it on another segment called the Half Party Animation or something like that? It's sort of kind of leered to more college student, kind of high school graphic kind of way, they try to make it, oh yeah, we're awesome, we're trippy, like Adult Swim. It's almost kind of cringy, like when you start watching that sort of segment on Sundays. Yeah, it was Sundays afternoon in 7 to 9. Well, it depends where you are, someone you'll be probably 6 to 8, but whatever, you get the idea. But this segment was unapologetically trying too hard, so the point is sort of turns you off to want to see it. But to be fair, some of the animation they chose for that type of segment wasn't the best choice. I think one of the worst ones they chose is High School USA. That was sort of really, really bad. They trying to rip off the Archie Comics designs. It's like, uh, it's very terrible. One day, probably I would talk about it. You also have the other one called X Cop. It was very trippy, but once more, it was very good. But I want to talk about the Golden the Sensational because that series was very good. It was something that is is way too good to be on this segment on Fox. But of course, anything good Fox has, usually they don't know what to do with it and they cancel it because it's a show that is sort of very different, very different point of view. It's not never it's the same form they use with the other shows. So yeah, if something new, they don't know what to do with it, they cancel it because they don't know how to promote it because it's a really dark, creepy show, but very comedic, dark humor. I think best to describe it is sort of Billy and Andy type of show that for more of adults because you're allowed to Kill, cuss, show blood, sacrifice, you know, all the cult things, but making fun of it. My best to describe it is think of the two of the biggest emos in high school who are trying to be gothic really hardcore and failed, but the difference is these two characters are basically Team Rocket that those are people you don't really take seriously, but then they actually do something screwed up, you're just like, whoa, okay, time to take this serious, they two are very crazy, but at the same time, the the whole society, where they lived on, they really don't give a damn, they don't believe that it's a threat, but these two people are constantly killing people, it's something that's sort of a runny gag, that's why it probably lasts 
my memory so long because it's just done so well. Now, the story of this is basically about Golan. He is basically the main character who is a demon who conquered his world being the overlord he really is. But a little girl called Dylan, she was nine, finds a book as to summon Golan to her world, and now he, Golan, stuck on Earth and trying to figure out how to come back. Back. But the interesting thing is about Dylan, she's something going because she feels so lonely. That she needs someone to understand because she's usually the outsider, the person who does never click, who could never actually service her mom because how weird she really is. So she decided to send the demon. Golan. Now the interesting part is Golan does not give a crap about anyone only but himself. A bit to describe is sort of a kind of a stereotype kind of Disney villain that's so feminine but he's straight. He does horrible things. He sort of flamboyant but more like a diva straight guy who just think about himself. It's nothing about him. He, he doesn't care. He pretends not to care about Dylan but later on he started to really care about him more like a best friend as Dylan tries really hard to get going happy try to do anything for him the point that their relationship is especially slave and master a fact Golden kind of made him sort of her disciple in a way, her basically her henchman. Anything what Golden wants, Dylan does for him. But the only problem is the relationship is sort of once more Samar cartoon because Golden is the genius, Dylan is the incompetent. Sort of picking in the brain to give you a better idea, but the only difference is Dylan is more competent and kind of calls uh, Golan any BS he does, and reverse also because Golan sometimes calls out Dylan and her BS because the relationship is sort of toxic, but sort of hilarious toxic, like two goth kids are just arguing about we're trying to take over the world, but you're not helping, you're stupid, no, you're stupid, bro, oh, screw you, and you, you get the idea, you've seen those fights, that's basically what the relationship is so over the top but once more those two characters are very dangerous almost hilarious danger the things they do once more no one take him serious even they have seen the dead violins the dead corpse the blood the demon summonings that's like the running gag that you cannot stop laughing because this show never sent the failure to make this as a joke, they always on point 90 or 80% of the time. There's some moments of spirit sort of aim, but once more, that's normal comedy, not every joke will land. But besides that, you will fall in love with these two characters. But I love it even more is how different the two seasons they have because they have only made two seasons a total of 12 episodes but each season are completely different one of the biggest example is the first season only has six episodes but each episode less than 10 minutes the season two has the same amount of episodes but increase in time to 20 minutes then 10. they're like okay what else is different well one of the biggest differences is the quality because season one is sort of cheap, kind of grayish, almost sort of YouTube independent sort of animation. You see season two, I feel Fox got more uh, invested on this series. They give it like twice or three times the budget because the animation of season two really is amazing. To describe it, it almost was a film movie kind of quality, that kind of high range kind of film that you see a high range, a low range, kind of zooms in, but very artistic in a way that you understand where everybody is, where you put them in. That's sort of kind of film quality I'm talking about. That's what I really appreciate. But it's something is one more thing is so different between season one, season two is continuity. Because season one never explains how going got to Earth. Now some of you probably saying, well, it's not the intro's job to explain it, or it really doesn't explain because it's a comedy show. And yes and yes, but the weird part is is that that everything when it happened season one, they sort of ignore it and continue on season two because a soft 
reboot and that is sort of surprising because not a lot of anime series do a soft reboot it's sort of rare to actually see it i think the the only one i can remember who actually doing this is the real adventures are joining quest around season two if i remember right they decided to reset it softly that nobody actually noticed till later on you just rewatch it like wait a minute this doesn't make sense yeah that's the thing that's one of the things that sort of surprised me they actually did it that's unbelievably rare but at the same time it doesn't really matter because the show is just so funny, so out there, you just love it, because the show goes crazy, goes places that you were not expecting to go. Like, the first, I think one of the best examples is Dylan got the chicken pox, and the mom and the mayor decided to, they bring everybody together, all the kids in one, so that everybody get a chicken pox, you get rid of it automatically, like, sweep it under the rug, but no, Dylan went crazy, she went becoming a cult, he actually tend to sacrifice everybody, but you think that's the the point of the episode, but no, it's actually is Golden got sick, but he's too sick to move, so he can't come home. You think that is the point of the episode, but no, it does not left turn, and you realize she's doing everything to oppress her mom because she won't be loved by her mom to understand her, to click with her. And what's more, everything I said happened in one episode. You just like. What? Yeah, I know. It's just sort of really crazy out there. You just make you laugh because all the insanity sometimes give you. But I think that's what the biggest strength. It just goes there. It go crazy. Of course, that has one major problem. Maybe turn you off is this show doesn't really rely on being filtered. It says things because it's funny, not because it's the uh, political way to say it. If you get my uh, idea, but except it's sort of Family Guy trying to be all oh, like they use the word uh, like a dyslexic. They make fun of dyslexic, but it's always a bad taste. They actually do that, but. Golian the Sensational does that also, but they make it a sort of very clever, funny point of view. Something that it's sort of surprising, but never feels like poked down. Now, I can't really need nothing else to say, just have one question. Do you remember Golian the Sensational? Do you see it? Comment down below, let me know. I can't really nothing else to say, just thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.